You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on? Kenan here, and it's time for another Ask Camp Kenan question. Today's question comes from Gabe Earhart, one of our Patreon supporters, and his question has to do with different species, a totally different species of animal, totally different class of animal, not class, uh, order, yes, order of animal, uh, cohabitating. He's talking about, can his bearded dragon live with his Greek tortoises? So I thought, well, Let's go on into my Greek tortoises and see who they're living with so that uh, I can properly answer this question. And, uh, well, the quick answer is, yeah, I think they can. Um, you got to make sure when you are going to do a uh, species that basically um, are going to be cohabitating, you want to make sure that they come from very similar environments. So the Greek tortoise is from the Mediterranean. Where are all my Greek tortoises? Here they are. The Greek tortoise is from the Mediterranean, right? And this animal likes a drier climate. Definitely, um, you know, not desert-like, but certainly dry uh, grassland. Uh, they do like high basking temperatures, which uh, they will get to about 110 degrees in the basking areas out there in the Mediterranean. Here are some of the Greeks right now. It's kind of early, so they're just kind of chilling out. Um, these tortoises will feed on succulents, a small amount of fruit, grasses, weeds, flowers, uh, and basically some vegetation, some vegetable matter as well. As you can see, they come over to you. Here's one that Scotty Cramner gave me, uh, doing very well here, his little male, growing up nicely and getting along with everyone in the enclosure. But the real interesting thing about this enclosure is the fact that they share it with my rhinoceros iguanas. Now these are two species that in the wild would never ever come in contact. So we have to actually go out of the enclosure because I believe the rhinos are actually inside their hide box. So these guys would never in the wild come together. But here at Camp Kennan, I put them together because they have similar diets and similar habitat requirements. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, I got to clean out in here too. Goodness gracious, that hurt my hand. Oh, that hurt. Oh, one hand's not easy to do, guys, with a slippery stick. Oh boy, I'm having trouble. Let's put you down and I'll do this the right way. All right, so anyway, here are my little rhinos. And there, as you can see, they're hanging out with the other Greek tortoises who have not actually come on out. So these guys are awesome, my rhino iguanas. They're just such cool lizards, and they're really cool from the night temperatures. Uh, you know, it went down into the 70s, and so they're just chilling out. Sun's just coming up here in Florida. It's an early morning I'm filming at. As you can see, the Greek tortoises are starting to make their way out the door. There's Petro, and there's Petra right behind him. And I think she's gravid. So hopefully we'll be getting eggs from her because I noticed there was a, an area where she was digging. Oh, I don't know. She doesn't look that gravid. She's still got folds here. I thought maybe she was gravid, but uh, no luck as it seems. I don't see any lumps. And usually what will happen is when they're gravid, they will really distend. Their, their tummies will get bigger. Um, but when she was laying, it kind of gave the illusion that she was <clears throat> possibly gravid. So, Mr. Earhart, uh, yes, you can do it, but you have to make sure that um, the diets of the lizard and the tortoise are similar. Um, you're going to want to make sure that the substrate is similar, that the humidity requirements are also similar, so that you're not giving one animal what it needs while the other one is getting a deficit of what it needs. So, here's a quick overview of the enclosure. Very simple enclosure. Uh, it's got a covered roof here so that rain doesn't pour into this area so it stays drier than you might think. Uh, I had to unplug this cable, this wire, because I was building the monkey tail skink thing a few days ago. And uh, I had to unplug it. I'm gonna rewire that so they have heat in the winter. They have their heating pad on the side of their little night box. Uh, they go in and out, both the tortoises and the lizards go in and out without any issue. So they, they do very well together. I will say this, um, 
the rhinoceros iguanas and all the cycloiguanas, although they're herbivores, as we've learned here on the channel, even herbivores will make use of protein from time to time. So if I'm not careful to get all the eggs out, it is possible that they would eat the eggs of the Greek tortoises. And they would certainly nibble on a baby tortoise if it were walking around the enclosure. So for me, I have to be very vigilant and I have to get the eggs out and artificially incubate those eggs so there's no chance in these guys getting any, uh, <laughs> any little tortoise morsels. Uh, that would be a bummer. But uh, here they are. They're doing great. They work well together. So that's my recommendation. If you are going to keep a bearded dragon with a Greek tortoise, although they are not from the same continent and the bearded dragon is more of a desert animal, uh, just make sure that the basking areas are okay and make sure that you're feeding uh, them, which they will eat similar foods. A bearded dragon and a Greek tortoise will eat similar foods. So although it may not be perfect as in what nature intended, if you have a large enough enclosure, they aren't stressing each other out, it could be cool. Uh, there you have it. A uh, better animal to actually bring together would probably be the bearded dragon and a more desert species of tortoise. Uh, the Greek tortoise, as I mentioned, from the Mediterranean. These guys are from the Caribbean, but on their islands, they have more of a drier climate on their islands uh, where these animals are from, Dominican Republic and Haiti. And where do you think you're going, young man? He's taking a look at the greater world out there. <laughs> uh, just giving him a peek. Sometimes I bring them out by the pond to let them walk around. So thank you for your question and your Patreon support. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clean up this box right here and get these lizards situated. Uh, going to get up and get moving and get everybody fed. It's a beautiful day today. I hope you guys can get outside and work with your animals wherever you may be. Don't forget to hit us up on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash camkennan to help support the videos and to ask any questions you may have. And also hit thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and head on over to the Camp Kennan Army channel where you can share videos of your own animals and I'd love to see them. So subscribe there as well. All right, everybody, I'll see you all soon. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, Sunday, tomorrow, we have a new video and I'm um, looking at the subject of the video just to my left gonna like it want a quick want a quick sneak peek bam there it is okay that's all you're getting i'll talk to you guys later uh say goodbye petra that's petro petro and petra the rock of